Hello and welcome to Brandon Socket. Please don't forget, subscribe, like, share, and comment. In a previous video, we talked about adding a co-buyer. Click the link above to get to that co-buyer video. And in a second video, we talked about making connections between two individuals. So father, son, mother, daughter, husband, wife, friends, so on and so forth. So click above for that link. Those are two different ways to add uh, connections to, to customers. You may connect people that aren't going to be co-buyers and you may just add co-buyers that are co-buyers. So great uh, couple ways to do that. And the third one we want to talk about where we don't actually use the connection tab but over uh, after we do what we do this connection shows up in the connection tab and I know I've said that word a whole bunch of times and this scenario is Jaden Alexander actually owns a company and we want to link that as a connection to him. So in his customer profile, we typically would use connections to add people and individuals to each other. In this case here, uh, we can't actually add a company that well. Uh, the functionality is not there yet. But what we can do is in the customer profile in the drop down of show details, there is a primary company field. And so what we can do is click on it and go search to link a company. And I'm going to search his company that he told me was Jaden Event Services. It's going to search the database, found nothing, found nothing. So we're going to go to the bottom and add a company. For adding a company, all I want you to do is fill out these top three forms. Company, Jaden. Oh, sorry. Jaden uh, Event Services. And we're going to go 905-454-5454. Put an email if you want. Don't fill out the first name, middle name, last name. You can put an address if you want, but don't fill out these four fields. I'm gonna hit save. What that does now is it actually opens me up to the company page and there's it's a, it's a two-fold, a two-step process. I need to add the primary, so I'm gonna search uh, Jaden Alexander and it's gonna search for my Jaden. I'm gonna go, yep, add primary. Okay, perfect. I'm then going to hit this search 20 customers again and just quickly go into my Jaden, come into the show details and add the primary again. Here's why uh, we have to, you know, I don't, sorry, I don't know the explanation on why we have to do it this way. This is just the way I know how to do it um, and I'm going to show you why in a second. Add primary. Once it's all said and done, I've linked the two together, you know, it takes a couple seconds to link it exactly. Uh, it now shows up as a connection. Okay, so because I was on the company, I linked Jaden. Because I was on Jaden and I linked the company, now it knows those two are fed together. And when I come to the connections, it shows up as a company icon. There may be a different way. I haven't figured it out yet. But if I go add connection, sorry, if I know the company already exists, I can go connections and search existing and go Jaden event. Uh, and it's going to pick it up anyway. It should Jaden event services. I can add that connection. But what I can't do for some reason is add a connection and you know I have to go use drop downs to edit the address I have to go more details there's the company but it doesn't search it right it, it would create the company but when you create a company Jaden event and I click on save it says what's the number what's the first name I need a I need an individual I need a company and it creates a, uh, another person so that's why I, I don't like that functionality I can't use it so you almost have to create uh, an individual, create a customer, and then link the two together from each each profile. So I know it's, it's a lot to take in, but please use this video as reference to link a individual to a company page. And if I've said customer throughout the video, I apologize. It's individual to a company. Again, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.